All right, we're back. I, I was thinking, should I just move on? But I figured, eh, might as well finish talking to him, see what he, what more he can say. How did the Templars get their name? From the building in which they set up their headquarters. The King of Jerusalem gave them part of a mosque on the Temple Mount. It was said to have been the site of the original Temple of Solomon. The order became known first as the Knights of the Temple, and later as the Knights Templar. You're a mine of information, André. Glad to be of help, Georgie. How come the Templars became so wealthy? There was a constant stream of new recruits to their ranks, many from noble families. They were required to swear a sacred oath of poverty, chastity, and obedience. So, their money, goods, and lands were donated to the order. The Templars soon held land in France, Scotland, England, Spain, most of Europe, in fact. The poor Knights of Christ became the wealthiest power in Christendom. Hmm. Is it true the treasure of the Knights Templar was never found? Ah, who knows? So little knowledge of what really happened remains. Or oh, if it does, the truth has never been made public. What do you mean by that? The Templars have attained a mythological status, like the King Arthur of the Britons. There are people even now who say the Templars still exist. Do you think that's likely? No, not for a minute. Well, not the Templars, but their descendants, no I'd doubt. I'd like to shake you by the hand, Andre. Not now, Georgie. Ah, why does nobody want to trust me? Does the guy in this photograph look familiar to you? No. That was a short answer. Does this matchbook mean anything <coughs> to you? Alamut is the name of the place where the Hashashin were based. Huh. Where is it? Somewhere in what used to be called Persia. I'm not too hot on modern geography, I'm afraid. The most recent map I have shows America as an English colony. Uh, no. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. All right, back to Nico's place, I suppose. Only place we can think of. <coughs> Hello, George. Oh, by the way, I had a visit from Andre Lobino. Oh yeah, I hope you didn't mind me giving him your address. Not at all. It was lovely to see him again. He was over the moon when I showed him the manuscript. It's not often he gets that excited. He yeah. made a sketch of the Knight's crest to take back to the museum. I believe he's identified the family who bears that crest. I sure hope so. Do you think the assassin was responsible for killing Marquet? I don't think so. Oh. He could have finished it besides Marquet would have recognized him. He was... he would... Uh. I'd better get back to the quest. Well, that wasn't much information I was given. Where do I go now? Let's go here first, so we can read our notes. But month fashion, where I need to head. <laughs> wow, that little guys are such a joke. Look at me. Look how much I know. <laughs> you jealous, bro? I think George is a little bit jealous. Let's see if he has anything new to add. Hi, Andre. Hello, Georgie. Hey, I visited Nicole's apartment. Yeah, she told me you came by. Ooh, quite a fine Georgie boy. I didn't expect anything quite so sexy. <laughs> I hope you're referring to the manuscript. Well, we, oui, of course. <laughs> What did you make of the manuscript? It dates from the time of the Crusades. We guessed that from the Templar seal. It's a story and pictures like a modern day comic book. What story does the manuscript tell? I don't know. It was probably produced for the tourist market. Tourists? Oh, we oui, pilgrims in our thousands on our way to Jerusalem. The tourist trade is nothing new, you know. It's been around for centuries. 
Ever since Joshua made a packet selling souvenir bricks from the walls of Jericho. Have you deciphered any of the images on the manuscript? There's uh, very little I can be sure about. The slang of the bull could be a reference to uh, Mithras. Who's he? A Persian god, almost as popular as Christ at one time. The only thing I can be sure of is the knight. He's Spanish. How can you tell that? The writing on the shield, the reference to Ave Maria. No self-respecting knight from Northern Europe would have borne a coat of arms like that. Can you identify the knight's coat of arms? I already did, Georgie. He's a member of the De Vasconcellos family from the Costa Calida. Were they famous? No. They're not mentioned after the 15th century. Oh. The uh, spotlight of history moved on. They are probably long dead. What do you make of this? It's the biggest gemstone I've ever seen. Where did you get it? From Professor Pegram's messenger boy. Pegram? Professor Nigel Pegram? He's in Irland, investigating a Templar site, isn't he? He was, until he disappeared. Did uh, Pegram find this on his dig? Yeah, the site where this was found was a Templar castle. Do you think it could be part of the Templar treasure? No, oh, I shouldn't think so. You're not one of those crazies who think the Templars still exist, are you? Uh, well, I try to keep an open mind on the matter. Do you know Pegram well? Not really. I met him at a conference. I would have liked to talk to him in depth, but I didn't have oh. time. When was this? Oh, uh, back in the summer, <coughs> uh, July, I think. Well, thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. What the shit? Where do I go now? Do I have to leave the country again? Let's see. Oh wait, no. Oh wait, yes, I can leave the country. But should I? I realized something. What's this? Been here yet? <coughs> oh look, another one of these. No, I can't open it! I don't, I don't have my thing with me anymore! And, oh wait, yes I do! How? how? I thought I let... Oh, whatever. <laughs> Excuse me, officer. Shouldn't you be off directing traffic or something? You have seen the Parisian traffic, no? Yeah, so? I could direct the traffic. The most dangerous, the east side of Rome. Or I can sit here and enjoy the sun, the architecture, and the Soso Sauvignon. Which would you choose? Yeah, but I'm not a policeman. What happened to duty? An excellent question, monsieur. <laughs> What do you know about the Knights Templar? Les Templiers! Only that they were excommunicated in 1312 and hanged in their dozens within this very square. Boy, what they teach in the police academy these days. No, monsieur. I read it on that board over there. <laughs> Would you like to shake... I stopped myself barely in time. Electrocuting a cop would not have been smart. Aww. They'd rebuild the Bastille just so they could throw me in and throw away the key. Have you seen this man before? No. Who is it? I believe him to be an international assassin. Oh. Is that all you can say? Oh. I did wonder if I should say that I believe you to be an international paranoiac. But it didn't seem polite. <laughs> I'll see you around. We oui, must. I'll be there. <laughs> mm. In French, English, and German, it read: In 1312, Pope Clement V dissolved the knightly order of the Templars and excommunicated its members on charges of heresy. In the following two years, many of the knights were hanged on this site. Their Grand Master Jacques de Molay was burnt at the stake on an island in the Seine. Well, doesn't look like I can do anything here. Oh, I can't go up there. Or, I can take this tool and open this. I have to place a lot. Hey. Yeah. Hey, you! What do you think you are doing? Leave that cover alone! Now! 
Sorry, no harm intended. You stay away from that. <clears throat> Fine. I'll go this way. I didn't have time to sit around. Damn, this is this place is big. <clears throat> oh, I remember this place. I've been here before. A knight there in the company of his fellows. Biblical references engraved into the tomb edge to guide his way to the next world. I guess. Hmm. A knight there in the. Well, that did not work. Because if I don't remember wrong, I can. I'm gonna. I'm Scroll supposed to go down a there. Scroll of scholarship. I knew that much. A scholarly knight. That rang a bell. A very Spanish bell. On the end of the staff was some kind of disc with a cross on it. Around the base of the disc was a hairline crack. Well, I could have just taken the end off the staff, but I wanted to be sure what I'd be getting out of vandalizing a church, other than deported. Well, I guess I can't do that just yet. I need something else first. And for that, I need to go to Spain. So to Spain I go. At this speed, I'm gonna be there by like... Next year sometime, maybe. <coughs> there we go. I'm gonna walk to Spain. Oh yes. Womp. Oh, the cutscenes keep the cutscenes keeps being cut short. It feels. Huh. <laughs> cutscenes get cut short. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. <coughs> I remember some of these puzzles very light, very slightly. I'm probably gonna fail. I remember one of them being pretty hard. <laughs> Just walk through. Hi, is this the Vasconcellos house? Oh, I'm. Oh, I could tell the old coot was gonna be trouble. My name's George Stobar. Uh, I was wondering whether the house is not open to the public. This is the Vasconcellos house. And what business is that of yours, senor? Look, all I want is to speak to the head of the household. There is no household. Only the Countess and myself. Tell me about the Countess de Vasconcelos. She doesn't receive guests. That's all you need to know. You don't even know what I have to talk to her about. She hasn't won the lottery, has she? No, she hasn't won the lottery. A more cunning man might have claimed that she had. Oh, yeah? They might have, might they? And that more cunning man would have been kicked off the premises. The Countess doesn't do the lottery. <laughs> what do you know about the Templars? Who wants to know? Are you angling for a bribe or something? You have nothing that I want, senor, except the pleasure of your absence. The guy was obviously protecting the Countess against the whole world, but why? Would you like to shake hands? I do not think so, senor. See this gem? Men have died for it. Do I look as if I care? Guess not. Do you recognize this man? No. Oh, 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 maybe if I could throw this rag in his face. Look at this tissue. It's a tissue with some greasy muck on it. Yes, that's right. I'll be going for now. Adios, senor. Remember you used to be able to walk here somewhere. Well, I guess I need to uh, finish this puzzle first. Well, maybe not puzzle, but you know. I don't think he's gonna let me into the house, honestly. Let's try it. Hey, you. Yeah, what is it? 
You would not like it if people just wandered into your home, would you? Well, no, I guess not. Then show a little consideration. Okay. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I figured. So, what I need to do is kill the water hose. But go following where it goes and then mess it up for him. And while he's over here, I sneak into the house. I didn't like the idea of carrying 30 yards of hose around me, so I left it alone. Well, okay. Oh wait, can I use? Really? Really? There's no way that will work. It's always sad when an old tradition comes to <laughs> Did you have anything to do with it? Well, I'm shocked. I'm mortified. How could you think such a thing? Very easily, senor. <laughs> Very easily. I like that guy. I'm going to find out why my horse has stopped. And that means going into the house. You are not, absolutely not, to go in the house. If you do go in the house, I will set the dogs on you. <laughs> he, that's awesome. I, I love that man, he's awesome. I, I remember him very well from... Well, I actually have played this before. At least the remake of it. If there is one, I don't know. But I, I vividly remember him. <gasps> okay! Obviously not the way to go. Hey, you. I know you are there, American. All right, you dogs. I'm coming. Ah. Uh. Okay. It was a small mirror hanging over from the scum in the sink. It looked like he shaved there. Oh, now I can go upstairs. Yay! <coughs> Madre Dea, who are you? My name's George Stobart. I'm sorry to burst in like this. You must leave at once. You're not wanted here. Please, if you just listen a minute. Very well. State your business, Senor Stoba. There's been a series of murders, part of some conspiracy. Anyway, the trail led me here. Here? There is nothing for the outside world here. Over 600 years ago there was. What do you mean? This whole thing ties in somehow with the Knights Templar. The Knights Templar are dust. They had a secret that was so important they went to a lot of trouble to hide it. I do not see what this has to do with my family. Your family had a strong connection with the Templars, right? I believe that they have planted some clues here. <laughs> Why should I believe a, a complete stranger who barges into my home? Just let me have a look around. If I find nothing... Uh, you'll be spending the night at the police station. Very well. Please, sit down. I know your family is involved with the Templars, but I don't know how. You should be asking how my family were involved, Senor Stobart. The Templars ceased to exist centuries ago. And as for De Vasconcelos, the line dies with me. I'm sorry. Don't be. Okay, whatever happened, happened almost 700 years ago. So, if the Templars left any clues, they're going to be in stuff that dates back to the early 14th century. Obviously. So, what do you have around here that's early medieval? Early medieval. Let me think. Well, the house is relatively modern, a scant three centuries old. Or, of course, the chess set. That chess set is over 600 years old? 
It must be worth a fortune. Indeed it is. Not that I would part with it, of course. No, I wouldn't either. Uh, that's the sort of thing that gets handed down to your children. Sorry. Its value is less than you might <laughs> think. The set is not complete. One of the pieces is a modern replacement. As to the original, it was lost a long time ago. Nobody has any idea where it is? No. The children had it when they were taken. Children? What children? All in good time, Senor Stobart. <clears throat> Interesting. Anyway, I'm out of time, so... Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and we will find out more about these mystery children and the, hi the history of this house and everything, probably, in the next episode. Bye.